Okay, so it's Saturday. Tomorrow we have our first UCI race. Very late last night, Jono did a rat test, sends us a message, he's positive for COVID. He stayed in his room since then, so we've all woken up now and we're just not sure what's gonna happen. So we're about to go into town, the pharmacy's just open, we're gonna buy rat tests for everyone. We'll take those tests this morning, probably again tomorrow night, because we do need to race tomorrow, hopefully. One of the complications we have is to enter a UCI race, you need to have five riders on the start, which we had. But now that Jono can't race, we've only got four riders. Assuming none of us test positive, we will go to the race and tell the race organizers that Jono has COVID and we've all tested negative, and hopefully they let us start for four riders. But this is just happening now, updating you guys. Let's see how this progresses over today. Hello. Thank you. Girl. COVID test. Not to make lightheartedness of it, but if you don't laugh, you'll cry. All right, Ben, saddle up. Social distance. Social, yeah, we'll keep our distance. Social there is your um, Dobba, what is it called? Dabba thing. Negative. Negative. Woo! Negative. Negative. <laughs> Now. For now. We have it forever. So test again tomorrow morning before the race. Yeah. Double check. So as you saw there, we all tested negative for COVID. I don't feel great. As you might be able to hear, I do feel like I have a cold, but I've tested negative. We will all do a test again in the morning and the show must go on. There's nothing else that we can really do. So we will be racing tomorrow. The other thing as well in the Netherlands, my hay fever gets really bad over here. So. It's very difficult to tell sometimes whether you're sick or not because my hay fever gets really bad. So, uh, fingers crossed that when we wake up tomorrow, we're all still negative so that Nero can race their first UCI race in Europe. So, official details on the race tomorrow so you have some idea of what sort of racing this is. This is a UCI 1.2 race. So, it's a one-day race and it's the, actually the lowest category of UCI racing, meaning there's no world tour teams or professional teams. These are all continental teams that are going to be coming tomorrow. So you've got some of the top UK continental teams like Wiv, Sun God, and Saint Piran. Actually, that's the team Cooper Sayers has just joined. Uh, he's not doing this race, but we might be up against him uh, maybe at the end of the trip, actually. You've also got the top Dutch continental teams like A Block continental team, Beat Cycling, Metek Solowat, who are quite good, and then a few other sort of X-Factor teams like Bolton Equities, Black Spoke from over in New Zealand, who have been doing really well over in Europe in the past few weeks. Evo Pro Racing, and then another Australian team, ARA as well. This is their last race for their trip, so they'll have experience behind them. Now in terms of the course, it's 192 kilometers, pretty much flat. The main thing, or the main factor in this race that will be very interesting to see is it's quite a big start list, a lot of guys, and the roads are very narrow, quite narrow. It's all those sort of farm roads that you've seen in some of my other videos that we've been riding on, where when you're fitting 100 plus guys on roads like that, positioning is very hard, crashes are quite likely. So for a lot of our guys, it will just be positioning and getting used to the style of racing here as it's their first race. The guys aren't going in with any expectations of results, so I don't know what to say in terms of what like tomorrow's video will be. But I'll put some cameras on their bikes and we will yeah capture some footage and chat about what the racing was like compared to what we're used to. Jono, if you open the door, there's a little cup here with uh, zinc tablets. Take one of those twice, uh, one tablet twice per day. It can help you recover from COVID quicker. Have the nerves kicked in, Lockie? Yeah. In the big circuit, there's a 2K section of couples, definitely. Mm. All right, so we've got two other issues. The first is 
We don't have that many spare wheels. No. And Lockie's on disc. So, uh, Lockie and Ben Spencer are on disc. So we have one set of disc spares. Yeah. And we've got two sets of rim brake spares. There's only one section of cobbles tomorrow. The race we're doing in France at the end of the trip is a very severe cobbles. We've been warned that that is brutal. So hopefully tomorrow is a bit of an easier start in that regard. The other thing as well is we're not sure how easy it's going to be to get bottles. So with such narrow roads and a biggish bunch, going back to the team car could potentially be very difficult. And if you're riding in a decent position, you don't want to go back to the car and lose your position just to get a bottle. The guys are all taking all their carbs with them. And because we don't want guys reliant on carbs from their bottles, because if they miss their bottles, then they're going to hit the wall and be screwed. So I think everyone's taking all their food gels with them. Water in the bottles, which they will need, but if you miss a bottle of water, it's, it's not the end of the race. If you miss a bottle of carbs, if you're relying on it, it is the end of the race. So I think all the guys are taking their food with them in your pockets. Yeah, we bought some gels today and we'll have some solids with us. 